Hello, my name is Christian Campos, and I will be giving you a brief introduction to iPrint from Home Rows. iPrint from Home Rows is a very popular software application that we offer that customers use to place orders with iPrintFromHome.com. After you've downloaded iPrint from Home Rows from our website, the first step is to click on the My Information button and to enter your name, email address, and shipping address. This will be the primary shipping address that we'll use to ship orders to you. Once you've done that, you have to locate the images from which you'd like to place an order on your hard drive. So you'll click on folder in the bottom right and locate the folder on your hard drive that contains the images from which you'd like to place an order. Once you've opened this folder, you'll see thumbnails of these images populate on the right side of the screen. At this point, you'll then need to select the product that you would like to order. First, by selecting a catalog, we have three separate catalogs at iPrintFromHome.com, one for photographic prints, one for fine art prints, and one for 35 millimeter slides. I've chosen the photographic print catalog because I would like to order an 8x10 glossy photographic print. So I have selected the glossy tab, and I've scrolled down to find the 8x10 glossy photographic print product. The next step is to drag your preferred image from the right side of the screen into the 8x10 glossy print product and to set your crop. So right now I'm trying to adjust the image up and down, seeing what would happen if I smart fit the image, which means I do not crop it. And right now I'm going to try zooming in and zooming out to find my preferred crop. Once I'm satisfied, I'm going to test other options that I can utilize for my photographic print. And I'm going to start by looking at borders. I'm now going to test a quarter inch border and then a half inch border. And then I'm going to test what that border would look like in black. And then I can check what the image looks like in black and white or color. And now that everything's all set, I will set the quantity of prints that I'd like to order and then click Add to Order. And once I've added all of the items that I'd like to my order, I will click on Review Order, select my shipping method, and proceed to the checkout by clicking on Complete Order. I'm then going to enter my credit card information and follow the prompts to submit my order to iPrintFromHome.com. Please note that when you use iPrintFromHome.com rows, your order is transmitted to iPrintFromHome.com after your order has been placed, so please be sure that you wait until the order has been fully transmitted. So that is a brief introduction to iPrintFromHome.com rows. Thank you.